Sai Baba of Shirdi. The original Sai Baba had died eight years before Saki was born. The length of time he had told his devotees would elapse before his reincarnation. Walter and Elsie Cowan had an incredible story to tell after their last visit to Sai Baba. Mrs. Cowan lives in Santa Ana, California. Her husband died in June 1973. It was on Christmas that I was taken sick with pneumonia and died on Christmas Eve about two and a half, three hours later. My lungs filled up with phlegm and I just smothered to death. The hotel had been alerted and a doctor was on his way. The doctors pronounced that I was dead and they loaded me into this morgue wagon and uh, shut the door, but it didn't lock. And every time it would stop at a crossing, my body would roll back and forth, and when it stopped, it started up and roll the other way, and I was very much afraid my body was going to go out onto the street. I knew I was dead, but my consciousness kept going along at all times. And I tried to convey to the drivers to shut the back door and lock it. And they, of course, I couldn't get through to them at all. And I was threatened about that until we got to the morgue and they took me out. And the two men carried the, me in the stretcher and dumped me on the bed. And didn't straighten my legs out. One leg was above the other. And uh, I was quite concerned about the lack of feeling or care they were giving to me. I could see it but I couldn't convey anything to them. The nurse came in and straightened my body out and put cotton in my mouth and nose and my, in my ears and pulled a sheet up over my head. And I was thoroughly satisfied then and I sort of figured that was the end of my body and I was completely free. I had absolutely no fear at any time and dying is a pleasure. It is not a hardship. And then I found myself in a great hall with Sayabama alongside of me. Sayabama talked with me while I was there in this large hall and uh, asked me whether I wanted to return to my body or not. I thought of my wife, and there is a definite uh, inborn feeling in every man to preserve his, his body and his physical life. And that had quite a factor, I think. Uh, if it wasn't for that innate desire, there probably wouldn't be too many people on earth. Well, Sayabhava said that I did not complete the work that I had intended to do, that I was born to do. And uh, he arose and, and addressed the judge and he, very respectfully, and the judge was very respectfully respectful to him. He knew him apparently very well. And uh, he said, this soul has not completed the work that he was born to do. And I most respectfully ask that this soul be returned to his body in order that he might complete the work that he was born to do and to further my work. And uh, the judge looked at us for a second or two and said, so be it. And then we were told that Baba came in the night and took off the sheet and unjuffed his nose and eyes and whatever to do at that time and uh, rubbed the booty on his chest and breathed the breath of life in him. And the next thing I knew, I was right back standing alongside my body back in the hospital. Then I opened my eyes and uh, I looked at my body and I said, uh, 
I might have made this mistake in deciding to return to it. It, it seemed like going right back into a cesspool. And, uh, and I hesitated. I said, I'm into it now. I might as well carry it on. And so I went into my body. And that very instant, I was right back into the old grind of breathing and trying to get my breath and, uh, and going through all the sufferings of a person as sick as I can be and still be alive. And I opened my eyes and saw my wife. I said, you look beautiful in pink. Richard Buck, a successful record producer, initiated and administers with his wife, Janet, the Los Angeles Sai Baba Center. Sai Baba says that there is nothing that isn't God, that this whole creation is just an expression of God, and so we are all part of God in the same way that he is part of God. He's expressing that aspect in a way that is far more visible than most human beings, therefore, some people uh, like to think that he is God. And he's saying, yes, but so is everything else. The booty, described by Sai Baba as sacred ash, has become, in effect, his trademark. He produces the fragrant, sweetly pungent substance repeatedly at gatherings of